Hi everyone, today we're making a very popular dessert here in Singapore. It's called Ching Tung, which literally means clear soup. This is a sweet dessert. Um, it's a good choice for the health conscious as it combines an array of healthy dry ingredients that are boiled in a sweet soup-like dessert that is sweetened with rock sugar. There are a variety of ingredients that may be used and you can add or omit according to your personal preference or the availability of ingredients. First, let's take a look at the common ingredients. White fungus, also known as white wood ear or snow fungus, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, helps in this treatment of dry cough and removes heat from the lungs. Believed to be a wonder ingredient to keep skin looking young. Pang Dahai or Malva Nut is a part of the traditional herbs used in Chinese medicine commonly for sore and dry throat issues including tonsillitis, hoarseness, acute pharyngitis, loss of voice, phlegm and coughs. It can also be used for constipation, headaches and rashes. Longan used to treat insomnia, amnesia, stomachache and good for nourishing the blood. Red dates, known to have high nutrient value, high in vitamin C, a key ingredient to many Chinese herbal concoctions, said to be good for stomach irritability and a beauty aid as it has blood replenishing and enriching properties. Pearl barley, a good source of dietary fiber, vitamins, minerals, energy and protein. Sago pearl, it's a good source of carbohydrates and provides a quick boost of energy. Lotus seeds, they offer numerous advantages for human health such as improving sleep patterns, promoting weight loss, managing diabetes symptoms, enhancing the nervous system activity, and slowing down aging. Lotus seeds are an ideal addition to the diet to boost physical and mental wellness. Ginkgo nuts, they are often used as a supplement for memory support and brain health. Rock sugar is known for its mouth freshening properties helps to ward off laryngitis and is good in treating flu and cold paired with herbed tea. Wintermelon has laxative, diuretic and aphrodisiac properties. Konyaku jelly or agaragar jelly is high in dietary fiber and helps eliminate harmful matter from the body. So first we're going to start off with the dried lotus seeds. Do not soak the dried lotus seeds or even rinse them. Instead, bring a saucepan of water to boil and then add them directly to the boiling water. If you rinse or soak the lotus seeds before they're added to the boiling water, they tend to develop a thick outer coating and they won't be soft. Boil on a medium heat for 20 minutes to get cooked fluffy lotus seeds that melt in the mouth. Fry them open later to remove the green center if present. This is bitter. Drain away the water and set this aside. In two separate bowls, we're going to soak the white fungus and the pang da hai now in hot water. For the pang da hai, um, put it in hot water for 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely softened and it increases in size and for the dried fungus soak this in hot water again boiled hot water for 10 minutes or so depending on the size you can see how it grows in size and it becomes soft as it does so So it went from looking like this to looking like this within 10 to 15 minutes. And in that time, our Pangta Hai has also bloomed into a little bit, but it still has some way to go. So I'm just going to leave that aside for a while longer. Now we're going to chop the soaked white fungus and Cut off the central yellowish and hard parts on the underside and discard that. Later you want to chop the clean soaked fungus into very small pieces. You can add this back into warm water and rinse it once again and then keep it drained. The next step is to prepare the jelly of choice according to packet instructions. I'm using konyaku jelly, you can use agar agar strips as well. 
just follow the package instructions. You can add a little bit of food coloring and flavor uh, as you like. You have to make this earlier because you want to chill it till um, it's set enough to cut into very small dice. The jelly is usually added to the cold version of Cheng Teng and my kids love it. Next we have our ginkgo nuts and I'm using the pre-packaged, pre-boiled ginkgo nuts here. You have to remove them from the packaging and, and rinse them really well to remove the perfumey smell. If you're using the dried ginkgo nuts, just like with the lotus seeds, you need to boil them first. Just follow the package instructions there. Keep them drained and set aside. And now we're going to cook our sago pearls. We're using the large sago pearls for the jingtang. Never soak the sago or even rinse them or add them to cool water in a saucepan to boil. Instead, bring a saucepan of water to boil and then add directly to the boiling water. The water must be boiling before the sago touches it and boil on a medium heat for 15 minutes. So after some time, our pang tahai has increased in size and it's soft. So what we need to do, we need to remove the outer skin, which is tough, as well as the inner seed. And uh, we're going to discard these. We want only the jelly-like substance. So I tend to do this over kitchen paper towel and it's easier. So this is what I'm left with, uh, the jelly substance. And I also like to keep the soaking liquid as it has some flavor and fragrance. Pandan leaves are used in the treatment of chest pains, ear pains, headache, arthritis, and several other ailments. Good for postnatal care for mothers. Take four or five fresh pandan leaves and rinse them. Then later you want to tear through the center to release the fragrance better. And then we're going to divide these and tie them into a knot. My sago pearls have just simmered for 15 minutes and now uh, you can see there's a transparent layer around them but the center is still white. So we want to turn off the heat at this point and cover it and then let it just sit in the hot water for half an hour. You don't want to cook the sago pearl too long because it tends to disintegrate into the boiling water. Instead, we're just going to keep it covered for another half an hour. Next we have here our red dates and we're going to just rinse them really well with warm water and set that aside, drained. And we also have the dried longan fruit. Measure this out about 50 to 55 grams and you can rinse these as well if you prefer and drain them and set this aside as well. I have my barley here, the pearl barley. We're going to rinse this really well under running water till the water runs clear to remove all that excess starch and impurities and keep this drained as well. So my jelly has set in the fridge and I'm going to take it out and I'm going to cut it into small dice. You can do this into strips or um, dice as you prefer. Just make sure it's nice and set before you start to cut it. As I mentioned before, the jelly is usually added to the cold version of Ching Tang um, as it will melt if it's the hot version. So we have nice jelly cubes here. Put this back in the fridge till it's ready to use. And I've measured out the rock sugar as well as the candied winter melon. So if you're using the candied winter melon, you can reduce the amount of rock sugar. Do this to taste. So here we have most of our ingredients, in soaked or cooked or rinsed or chopped as needed. And the sago pearls as well. They're still in the saucepan after being resting for 30 minutes in the hot water. They have softened up a bit more and the center is still a little white, but not to worry, they will keep softening when we add them to the hot soup later. So I have three and a half liters of water here in a large pot. Bring this to a boil. 
Then add the knotted pandan leaves, the red dates, the cut up soaked dry fungus, as well as the barley. Bring this to a boil once again on high. Then lower the heat and simmer for 15 minutes. Stir occasionally. After 15 minutes, check to see that the barley is cooked. Now you can add the rock sugar along with the cooked ginkgo nuts as well as the lotus seeds and the dried long gun fruit as well. Simmer again for another 15 minutes. Now you can check that the rock sugar is completely dissolved. Um, you can check by listening to the crackling noises when you stir the pot. The pangahai is added towards the end just before covering and it does not require further boiling. I added just a few minutes before turning off the heat. The cooked sago strained from its water is added last and then we turn off the heat. Cover the pot for another 15 to 20 minutes. The remaining white center of the sago will continue to soften in this hot soup and after resting for 20 minutes the qingteng will be ready to serve you can serve it warm or cold and once it's cold you can add the diced jelly as well enjoy this healthy dessert from singapore it's absolutely delightful served cold during hot summer days and it's always perfectly blissful served hot on cool evenings. I hope you enjoyed this recipe tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.